teenage girl is in critical condition after a shooting outside of Wendell Phillips High School. Glenn Marshall is live at Comer Children's Hospital with more. Glenn. Hey, good morning, Dan. We spoke to the grandmother of that teen last night. She told us that the teen actually suffered three gunshot wounds but was in surgery last night. Right now, police are still looking for that gunman. Here's a look at the scene from yesterday. For the second time in a month, CPS students were uh, CPS students were shot while leaving school. This time, the crime scene was right on Wendell Phillips Academy's campus near the corner of East 39th Street in South Prairie. Police told us it happened around 3.30 yesterday. A school was being dismissed. A gun the gunman was waiting outside school doors. A security guard was opening the door. The gunman began to fire, hitting the 45-year-old guard and a 14-year-old girl. WGN's Patrick Elwood spoke to the teen's grandmother, who said she was shot three times and underwent surgery last night. Police spent a significant time overlooking the crime scene at the school. Now, while the investigation continues, a harsh reality of shootings becoming the norm has settled in with students at Wendell Phillips Academy. It hurts to see that, but like it's life. That's what happens. You know, when people are into it with each other, that's just, it's life. I mean, we live in Chicago. And again, no one is in custody, and the family of that teen victim is expected to speak later on this morning. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we receive new information on this situation. But for now, we're live on the south side of Clinton Marshall, WGN News.